adverbs they are nothing but which modify or qualify verb try to observe the grammar parts here speak is verb when it comes to matter of identification of adverbs usually the word will end with ly the very five adverb is adverb of manner the first adverb of time hello hi namaste and welcome to vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence i am nanda kishore faculty of english in vidyashram mysuru today i am going to introduce you all for third semester ba bca bcom and bba language components the very first language component is adverbs but let me clarify one thing before i start today's session when it comes to ba and bca the syllabus is different and when it comes to bcom and bba the syllabus is different but when it comes to language component the syllabus is one and the same when it comes to ba and bca the novel is untouchable written by mulkraj anand and bcom and ba it is the financial expert written by rk narayan and let me tell you once again language component is one and the same for both ba bca bcom and bba so let us start with adverbs what are adverbs basically if you see what are adverbs adverbs describe verbs and modify adjectives and another adverbs in simple i can tell you adverbs they are nothing but which modify or qualify verb to make it even simpler i am going to deal with lot many examples and types of adverbs which are prescribed in your syllabus but in your syllabus it is simply given as identification of adverbs but it is not going to be very easy to identify the adverbs when it comes to the matter of examination for the better understanding i am going to speak both in english and in kannada possibly i am going to mix up a bit of hindi as well let me tell you one thing adverbs anta bandaga exam alli nimge identification madodu thumba kashta agutte it is not so easy as you think it looks thumba easy anta ankolak agalla so in order to understand adverbs we need to know types of adverbs first and then it is going to be easy for you to understand what are adverbs adverbs can also modify phrases clauses and sentences so these two are a part of sentences sentence is a complete grammatical structure one sentence andre adu ondu beginning inda idu subject verb object irutte that's a complete sentence in phrases and clauses there can be a subject or there cannot be a subject adverbs answer one of the following questions this is very important adverbs andre eno antandre you know one thing about adverbs adverb is a part of speech part of speech end to parts of speech ide aa ondu parts of speech alli adverbs kuda ondu we know verb verb andre enu kriya pada right i am standing standing annu antadu kriya enna sochutte it is a verb what is adverb i am standing happily i am standing in front of you very happily happily is adverb adverbs apart from that it also answers when yavaga when andre yavaga where yelli why yake how hege there are a lot of things that adverbs will answer under what conditions yava on the circumstances alli irbodu and to what extent so adverbs will always answer all these when why where and how questions apart from that now look at the examples here the teacher had to speak loudly to be heard over the children so loudly modifies the verb speak try to observe the grammar parts here speak is verb it is verb 
ಒಂದು ಕ್ರಿಯಾಪದ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಶೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಬಟ್ ಲೌಡ್ಲಿ ಅನ್ನುವಂಥದ್ದು ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಫೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಹೌ ನಾಟ್ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಜಂಟ್ಲಿ ಶಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಲೌಡ್ಲಿ ಆರ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಲೌಡ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆನ್ಸರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಹೌ ಹೇಗೆ ಹೌ ಲೌಡ್ಲಿ ದ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ವೇರ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಮೂವಿ ರಿಯಲಿ ಮಾಡಿಫೈಸ್ ದ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ ಇಯರ್ ದ ವರ್ಬ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಫೈಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ವರ್ಬ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವರ್ಬ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ ಸೊ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿಫೈಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಬ್ ಆಡ್ ವರ್ಬ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ example try to observe john approached the wounded dog very slowly very slowly very is modifying the adverb slowly so very hege tumba nidanavagi very slowly he approached just observe john approached the wounded dog the sentence is complete but to what extent hege circumstance very slowly clearly try to observe clearly sara did not understand the directions clearly is modifying the sentence here the entire sentence clearly she did not understand any of the things the box is still below the stairs still is modifying the phrase below the stairs right below still inno kuda ida where it is also answering where below if you just go back to the slide and check we have spoken about adverbs and it answers many questions like when where why and how and under what condition try to keep this in mind let us move on with the types of adverbs now there are five main types of adverbs but to be on a safer side i have included two more of this adverbs the very five adverb is adverb of manner the first adverb of time adverb of place adverb of frequency adverb of degree and last two interrogative it is nothing but question interrogative is the questioning conjunctive adverbs so let us see each one of them in detail the very first one adverbs of manner what is this manner an adverb of manner answers the question how kai say right hege anuvanta ondu prashnege this will answer the adverb of manner adverbs of manner include badly beautifully better bravely cheerfully fast hard quickly slowly inadequately healthily well etc let me just tell you one simple trick how to identify adverb in a sentence in your syllabus nimma syllabus alli identification of adverbs anta matra kottidara it is only given as identification of adverb when it comes to matter of identification of adverbs usually the word will end with ly the word which ends with ly is considered adverb it is one of the tricks you can use to identify adverbs so these are adverbs of manner try to get more number of examples or more number of words like adverbs of manner let us move on with an example here Sara slowly walked over the rocky beach. Sara walked is different. Sara walked over the rocky beach is different. Sara slowly walked. We are talking about adverbs of manner. Manner is a type hege yava tara yava reeti nadkond hodlu. So how is she walking? She is walking very slowly. Sara walked very fast. very fast right sara slowly walk try to observe slowly answers the question how did sara walk sara is walking very slowly 
very slowly maybe she is in pain or maybe she is very sad but the question is how did she walk next one adverbs of time try to remember there are five main types of adverbs the second type is an adverb of time answers the question when java ga right kab and in, in, in hindi like that's what we tell right adverbs of time include after always before during early later never now there are plenty more examples and plenty more words which will describe the adverb of time when it comes to example try to observe the example here john will attend the soccer game after after he finishes his homework after answers the question when will john attend the soccer game so john is a subject okay and he has decided to attend the soccer game but when so we are talking about when here try to observe he is planning to go to play soccer game only after so that is when only after he finishes his homework so without finishing his homework he will not be allowed to go to attend the soccer game next one adverbs of place so we saw adverb of manner so how did sarah walk adverb of time so when will john attend or when will john go and play the soccer game now we are moving on to adverbs of place an adverb of place answers the question where so how when and where adverbs of place include above away below down here inside near outside there up in inside outside there are plenty more examples and plenty more words apart from this iga naavu adverbs of place bagge maatartta idivi ee ondu example alli ee ondu type of adverb alli we are going to learn about where adverb of place yelli try to observe the example i have given here adverbs of place where is peter here so somebody is questioning a boy or somebody and the question is where is peter peter says here i am right here so where are you i am here i am there i am nowhere correct so this is adverbs of place example susan placed the boxes above the file cabinet try to observe susan is a subject the boxes is also the subject where is susan placing the file of uh, the boxes where is susan placing the boxes she has placed this above she has placed it above so above answers the question where did susan place the box so try to observe try to take up more examples like this i am going to go very slow initially but once we move on with the later sections we will increase our pace i know a few of the students might be very weak in grammar but that doesn't mean you are going to neglect the grammar part don't forget it includes or it carries 20 precious marks most of the students in degree they flunk they fail in english because they don't give prominence for grammar or simply known as language components language components it's very easy in third semester it could be ba bca or bcom or bba 20 precious marks try to observe there are four or five language components you can definitely score easily 15 and above if you are going to just tune up your basics so these are called basics this adverbs and trying to frame or phrase the sentences 
trying to construct the sentences and trying to use one word substitutes and there is a bit of tricky part in your grammar active and passive voice apart from that reading comprehension will definitely fetch you more marks so this is about today's session i am going to take up more examples and remaining types of adverbs in my next session keep practicing whatever i have taught try to just store a bit in your head try to know what are adverbs you can take help from internet there are a lot of materials available in the internet meanwhile i am going to simplify it for you as well let us work together and try to understand adverbs from the examination point of view this is one of the important topics and as i told you 20 marks is very precious i am going to meet you in my next session until then keep practicing have a good day take care